Hey, what's up everyone, welcome back to Oblivion. So last time we took on the Dread Knight and Miranda and he kicked my ass several times, but we eventually overcame the guy. Might have been a little bit cheesy, but damn it, he's dead and I'm alive and that's what matters. Anyway, I did promise you that we are going to train destruction. I'm going to do it off screen, but I'll try and montage it or something and I want to show you my idea for how to train it. Basically, I'm pretty sure Shadowmere A can't die, B shouldn't aggro on me, and C, if we use a really crappy spell, Shadowmere should regen HP quicker than we're dealing it, and we should restore magicka quicker than we're using it, so... We should be able to just make a crappy touch spell, and I think I can just hold the button down, and it will just repeatedly use it on Shadowmere, Shadowmere's not gonna get pissed, she's not really gonna lose any HP, and we'll just gain a whole bunch of magicka uh, destruction EXP, because, as I mentioned, I'm pretty sure the way it works is you get the same EXP no matter how good or bad the spell is, so... Casting this should get us the same EXP as casting, you know, an amazing spell that costs our entire magic bar, so... Yeah, I'm gonna do that off screen, it hopefully won't take too long, it... I think it should take probably 20-30 minutes, something like that, so I'll probably montage it, show you the levels, and every time we level up, we'll go, uh, pay the fella in the Anvil Mages Guild to give us five more destruction levels, so at that rate, it should, in theory, level up very quickly, but, uh, yeah, it's gonna be boring as shit, so... Yeah, anyway... Let's go test it on Shadowmere just to make sure it works. Okay, I has jacked the difficulty all the way up because I do believe that should sort of affect Shadowmere's HP. Don't really know. I don't think it's necessary. Like I say, this does almost no damage and Shadowmere does regen, so... Yeah, the only problem here is if Shadowmere does aggro on me, then, uh... She's probably gonna whoop my ass, so... Yeah, I don't think she does, though, but... You never really know, so if she does, then we're gonna have a problem here, but I don't think she will. Right, so we got 2% EXP for using the Fire Touch, and we also got 2% for that one. So there you go, that's what I'm saying. Pretty damn sure, no matter how good, the, good or bad the spell, you get the same amount of EXP, so, uh... Yeah, 2%, it's actually not that bad, it's like 50 casts for a level, which, as you can see, you can cast this shit very quickly, and I can indeed hold the button down, so, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna burn the crap out of me, that makes me feel like a bit of a dick, but hey, she don't care. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna do this, and hopefully, we'll level up pretty quickly. Hey, there we go, we got one already. So yeah, it shouldn't take that long, it's gonna be boring as shit, but like I said, I'll do it off screen. I'm probably gonna cut out all the leveling up, you know what stats I pick. I'm just gonna go back every single time we get a level up, level up in the bed at the Anvil Mages Guild, buy the uh, destruction levels at the guy every time, rinse and repeat. It's gonna be boring as shit, hopefully it shouldn't take too long, so uh, yeah. Hey, there we go, 75, holy shit, that took forever. So yeah, now we can cast the uh, expert level spells, we still can't obviously use the ones that require 100, but that's a whole lot more than 75, but still, 75 is a lot better than the 50 that we had, so... Anyway, what I basically did was, as I said, I was just burning Shadowmere repeatedly like a dick. Every single time we got a level up, I went to the Anvil Mages guy, paid him for the uh, levels that we could get, rested at the bed in there, got the level up. You know what stats I pick every damn time, so you don't really need to see that, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know what level we are now, we're like 22 or something around there, I, th I think 22, but, uh, yes, yeah, so we got a few levels since last time, 75 destruction, and we are flat freaking broke. Like, we have, like, no goddamn money, and I should probably put this down, otherwise, that's really gonna suck. Anyway, now let's go see if we can make some cool minus magic spells. Okay, I realize I'm cutting out a lot of shit here, but I don't want to spend the entire 25 minute video just on leveling up. It's going to be boring as shit. Anyway, so I made three spells. It took me a long time to go through all of these. I mean, Mind of Cyclone, Gold Nugget, Void Swords, Frost Swords. It doesn't do that much frost damage, but basically I believe it just traps them for like, you know, 20 seconds, 10 seconds, something like that. So it seems really good to use on a tough enemy that you want to keep in position whilst you heal or something. The damage it does, kind of negligible, but still, it looks cool. And, uh, what the hell else did I make? I made... Where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? Stone... It's stone something. Stone... Storm, yes. This one, my favorite spell in the entire game. Gold Nugget, Flawless Emerald, Void Swords. Oh my god. Basically, a ring of stone circles around you, and it just batters everything to death within range. It's so much damn fun. It basically uses the physics against them. I also made Tornado, Gold Nugget, Flawless Pearl, Void Swords. You saw that already. It's... It's a tornado. Does a whole bunch of damage, knocks them all over the place. It's literally like the Cyclone Dragon Breath shout from Skyrim, so, uh... Yeah, those are the three new spells we have. There's a lot more that we can make and use, but we can't do that until we get special Midas Magic ingredients that we need to get in the Midas Astral Plane, which we're gonna deal with later. Anyway, I kinda wanna show you what these do, but I'm gonna have to do it on, uh, these guys. And that was the wrong spell. 
And yeah, I fortified my magic because we, we are a tiny little bit of magic short of being able to use this, but... <laughs> as you can see when you use it... <laughs> Look at that shit, we just KO'd both of them. It's so damn powerful, but uh, yeah. It costs a little tiny bit more magicka than our max magicka, so we have to use the fortify magicka thing, then restore our magicka with potions. Uh, it's a whole bunch of work, but if we run into a really tough boss, we can, you know, go to the trouble of using that. And of course, when we level up our destruction more, the, the cost will come down and blah blah blah, so uh, yeah. And that's what Cyclone does. See, they can't even teleport to me. And it lasts a, a reasonable amount of time, it's not super long, but yeah, like I say, it seems really handy for just keeping a really tough enemy in place or something, if you need to heal or just to limit the numbers on you, but, uh, yeah, and there's one more Cyclone, which we don't have enough magic for. God damn it. Any turn, there we go. Okay, Cyclone, Tornado, whatever. <laughs> damn, Smitty, you are messed up. But, uh, yeah, so there are our new three spells. Oh god, he's angry at me. They're both angry at me. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm gonna go bank all the ingredients that I'm carrying, because I am carrying literally every- What the hell are you doing, Smithy? Oh, I thought you were attacking me. I'm carrying literally everything we have, and it's wearing me the hell down, sir. I'm gonna bank that shit, and I'll see you back at the Archaeology Guild. Okay, Midas Force Push. <laughs> anyway, let's go back and give Teeth the good news that we have the Dissolving Agent. It only took me, you know, three hours. You have the dissolving agent. Give it here. Perfect. Now I'll need some time to run the experiment. I have to be careful not to damage the inner matrix. In the meantime, I've got some good news for you. Free booty? That's always good news. Reward! Why don't you take the wandering eye, the green one sitting on the counter over there? I grow weary of it eyeballing me all day. I grow weary of you eyeballing me all day. Good news! Rither, our headmaster, has returned from his expedition. I've already put in a good word for you. But he'd like to meet you in person. You can find him in the library. What a nerd. It's right around the corner to your right there. I know where the library is. I've been there before. Farewell. Anyway, so here we get the Wandering Eye. I don't think this thing actually does anything. I'm not entirely sure what it is. It's like a weird green slug fellow with a weird eyeball. Hence the name. But yeah, I, I think this is just literally like an ornament that you can put in your house. But yeah, I like that kind of stuff. You know what's unique? You can decorate your house. What can I say? I like decorating shit. It might do something. Let's try like dropping it and see if that does anything. Because sometimes, no. Sometimes when you drop things, it activates them, but it doesn't seem so. So yeah, it's just an ornament. But yeah, cool nonetheless. And you do get quite a few of those. But like I say, there's also quite a few that actually do do stuff. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, the glass case is gone from here. So we can also take this vase. And again, purely aesthetic. But it looks badass. Anyway, he didn't give me a key, did he? Which is kind of unfortunate. I don't think anything else is grabbable right now. We can't carry this, can we? No. Right, so I think the library was here. No, it's the sleeping quarters. Remember when I said, hey, buddy, I know where the library is. Apparently, I was freaking lying. It's, it's not down there either. Anyway, yes, yeah, so the reason I cut out all of the leveling up was because it was going to be choppy as shit. And you know what stats I pick. Yeah, it, it didn't seem necessary. Greetings. You must be the new recruit I've heard so much about. Hey, how's it going? I am Cal Rither, Archaeology Guild Headmaster. Teeth tells me you've done a fine job clearing out that spire. So, let's discuss that temporary membership. Cal Rither really sounds like a Star Wars name. Membership! With all this recent activity, everyone's been swamped. Clearly we're lacking manpower, especially of your sort. I'm making you the guild's official enforcer. You are now a permanent member, responsible for clearing any hurdles we may run into. Badass. Congratulations. Thanks, buddy. Okay, what kind of hurdles? Actually, I already have something I need your assistance with. A hurdle of sorts. The expedition I just returned from, well, it led me to another spire, similar to the one you cleared. There's more than just one. My god. Problem is, this particular spire was overgrown with thick vines. 
As hard as I tried, there was just no way of getting in. Did you try a machete? The entrance is completely blocked. But there's a nearby mine that burrows deep into the mountain on which this spire stands. If we could convince the miners to tunnel deeper towards the spire, I'm sure we'll have a way through. Sounds like a crazy plan to me. Might just be crazy enough to work. This is where you come in. I need you to speak to the mine foreman down there. Help him to see our cause. Break his kneecaps? Got it. You must convince him to dig that tunnel. In the meantime, I'm going to lead an excavation effort at the spire you just cleared. Okay then, you do that. What about my job for Teev? Whatever you're doing with Teev can wait. Convincing that mine foreman shouldn't take you long, so when you're done, you can get back to Teev. Here, I'll mark Bloodvein Mine on your map. I'll also mark the overgrown spire. Have a look at the spire if you like, but don't bother trying to find a way in. I've already wasted enough time doing that. Godspeed. No, not necessary. I got quick travel. Don't need no Godspeed. Take care. Anyway, are these books fake? Yes, they are. I was thinking that because uh, they look a little bit low res and flats. Anyway, is there more booty for me to steal around here? Doesn't look like it. This is very upsetting to me. Right, so, uh, yeah, oh, before I forget, I installed another mod called Better Dungeons, and apparently this guy, wait a second, can we do anything with this yet? No. I think you drop gems into this thing's mouth and then it gives you, like, blessings or something. I don't really remember, but uh, anyway. Uh, I installed a mod called Better Dungeons, and apparently this mod literally overhauls every single vanilla dungeon in the game, which is insane. Like, absolutely insane. And uh, I saw a bunch of the screenshots, and he's done some really good work. I did check out a couple of dungeons that we've been to previously, like I went back to Miranda, and yeah, there's like, uh, you know, the spinning blades and there's traps and shit everywhere, and it's really good. Like, the guy's done an amazing job, so uh, yeah, we have the Better Dungeons mod now, so hopefully when we do have to go into vanilla dungeon, it will be much more interesting. Anyway, you know the drill, if I find something I'll show you, otherwise I'll just see you when we get there. Okay, to it appear we have arrived, is there any booty around here? Doesn't look like it, can't take the lantern. Now, yeah, that sucks. Anyway, in case you're wondering why I haven't leveled up yet, it's because... Basically, I want more of a boost to intelligence and willpower every time we level up, and essentially... Long story short, I have to use a whole bunch of mysticism every single level. Even though they don't directly contribute to our actual leveling up, it will contribute to the bonus that we I get. Do. So, long story short, the more mysticism I use, the more bonus we'll get to the stat that we actually need. So, when we've used a whole bunch of that, yoink, and then we'll level up. But yeah, I like to say, I don't think there's any detriment to leveling up later. Like, I don't think there's any rush. Maybe there is, I don't really know. And there's a bat in there. Well, all right then. Hey, buddy. You don't look like you're from the mining office. What do you want? It's Mel B from Bo Selector. <laughs> I'm from the Archaeology Guild. And? Well, I don't know. I need you to dig a tunnel into the mine. You what? They call it a mine. I've got other things to worry about, now beat it. Okay, listen here Mel B, it's important. If you don't do it, I'm gonna break your kneecaps. Important? Yes. Who do you think you're talking to? Mel B. Now you listen, in case you haven't noticed. I've got a full-blown crisis on my hands. I've missed me second shipment, two of my best guys are missing, another's bleeding from the neck, and you come to me with this. Yeah. Now scram before I get really mad. I don't think you quite understand who you're dealing with, sir. And by the way, what's in the cage? That? Oh, that's Squeaky. She's a fruit bat. I found her while working in a mine in the marsh. But that was ages ago, when I first started. She's the closest thing to solace in these godforsaken hellholes. Besides, she doesn't seem to mind the darkness. I do. An ideal miner's companion, you might say. They're a terrible, terrible band and I really hate that song. Uh, anyway, I'll give you a thousand gold for it. Or I'll kill it. Sorry. Squiggy's not for sale. Damn it, I was really hoping we could get a pet bat. But... Okay, uh, what happens if I say I'm gonna kill it? And it's a bit of a dick move, but still. Eh? Hey, you're just asking for trouble, aren't ya? No! Beat it! <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, what about the two guys? Yeah, 
Styx and Darius were abducted by vampires. For all I know, they're probably dead. Or worse, one of them. Dun, dun, dun. What happened here? Everything was going great till the middle of last week. We'd just struck a rich gold vein and our shipments were phenomenal. But I got too greedy. I should have never told the men to tunnel further. He dug too deep the and too greedily. Night, Classic mistake. They broke into something all right. But it wasn't another gold vein. Gold, you say? Some sort of ancient lair instead. In a place called Blood Vein Mine, vampires? Who'd have thunk it? Anyway, tell me of this ancient lair. Call it what you will, but it was full of vampires. Styx was the first to go in, but hours passed and he never came back, so I sent Darius in after him. Then the rest of the men, and I hear Darius running back screaming for his life. Vampires were all over him. Like white on rice. We fought a few of them back with what we had, but Tolonia was bitten, and the vampires got older, Darius. Ever since, we've been terrified. Well, we barricaded the tunnel as best we could, but now my men are just too demoralized to work. Sounds more like they're lazy. We've been missing our shipments, and no one dares look for Styx or Darius. I just want to point out, Styx is a really stupid name. That's awful, spelled wrong. But I need this tunnel. Now you look here, until I see all those vampires' heads on that there spike. I'm not even going to entertain your gobbledygook scheme. Gobbledygook? Well, I never, sir. I have never been so insulted in all of my life. How very dare you. I should kill you and take your bats. What the hell is that shit? Why have you got a dude's head on a pike? And you think the vampires are sick? Can we st we apparently we can steal the fruit bats fruit. I would do that to be a bastard, but I don't want to be carrying that shit. Oh, hello. hello? Which one's infected? Oh, it's you! Hello? Are you here to help me? I've been bit! You should speak to Farmer Norvin. And people think I have got an unusual voice. <laughs> That's all I'm saying about that. We'll just put that down to him being bit. You know, he's got a hole in his neck. That's why it sounds a little bit strange. Anyway, this place is like a bloody maze. And this is apparently not where we go. I don't think I've ever found this before. What's in here? Complete junk, but we'll take it anyway. And that's a dead end. Well, alright then. But yeah, I do believe there might be some gold rocks in here, which is extremely handy, because as I mentioned before, we need that for uh, Midas Magic. And yeah, there's literally two gold mines in the entirety of Oblivion. Two. And there's like three rocks in each of them, so you do the math there. And uh, hey, there we go. Stealing? Really? There's some bullshit. I'm taking it anyway, but uh, yes, gold, not easy to come by for Midas Magic. Typically, you need it all the damn time. But, uh, can I really not fit through that? Move, people! Move! We gotta go around the other side. Okay, I'm assuming it's down here. It looks promising. Kind of. Where the hell are we going? I see spider whips. Surely that's good news. No, no, we're right back at the start! Where the hell am I going? No, that's a dead end. Is there really nothing here? Where the hell do I go? Let me just check the map. Apparently over yonder. It looks like we already went over there. Did I, did I walk straight past it or something? It really went, oh god, what the hell? Whoa! That was weird. Accidentally casted the spell and, uh... It put out my torch for a second. It done it again. That's strange. That's very strange. Right, so it's over here somewhere. Did I walk right past that? I have no friggin' idea, but there's another gold rock here. Nobody see me. Perfect. Yoink! Oh, I'm so glad we finally get some gold. Look at this blood. Look at that shit. That's disgusting. And also very low resolution. That's possibly more disgusting. God, that sword looks badass. I'm actually kind of jealous that I gave that to him. Anyway, see, so yeah, I do believe we have to kill every single vampire in here, and as I remember, there's like a metric fuck ton of them. And some of them are really tough, because I think they're like custom vampires that are tougher than the usual ones, so, uh... Yeah, we got some killing to do, and I love this sword. I'm no longer jealous of Smithy. Right, so it looks like there's no vampires in this section, but you never know. It's weird the way it looks like the... <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it, like, the smoke effect on the sword looks kind of weird, but at the same time looks completely badass. There's got to be someone in here. No! What? There's some... You went past me? How the hell did you do that? You're a wizard, Harry. Why is my sword not equipping? Did it, like, somehow unequip itself? I still have it, it's not... Yeah. Why did it unequip itself from the, uh, the quick yeah. slots? 
I don't get that, but whatever. I, it's a vampire bard. For a second I thought it's a vampire lord. I was like, you died very easily for a lord. I could be remembering incorrectly. It might be a different mod entirely or just a vanilla quest, but... I'm sure there's like a vampire king and queen in here or something, or... A, a lord and lordess? Maybe? Again, I might be imagining that. Don't really know. There's so much gold. Why is this one not stealing? <laughs> okay, we're allowed that one. Damn, son, you got messed up. Shovel to the neck and he's burnt to a crisp. What a horrible way to go. There is so much gold here. You have, you have no idea how exciting this is to me. We need gold so damn much. There's like, there's probably more gold rocks in here than we've collected gold so far. That's ridiculous. Anything in the coffins? No, not really. Well, screw you then. Okay, well, I guess we go in this bloody door over here, and of course there's barricades to make it harder. God damn it. Hey, this custom load screen. Didn't realize that. That's cool. Okay. Whoa, that was some weird slowdown for a second there. I'm guessing this place is huge. Probably, yes. I see you over there, buddy. That's right. Come at me, bro. Walk this way. Talk this way. Come on and walk this way. No, do it. I, I said that. Good lord, you have a lot of HP. And Mead, be careful when you're shooting the goddamn spells. We all know how dangerous you are with that shit. I don't trust you. Okay, he's dead. And it... <laughs> what the hell was that shit? The Mead just wiped out me and Smitty with that damn spell. Am I right back at the m Oh my god, I'm right back at the start of the mine. Oh god damn it, I gotta talk to everyone again. Well, seems like a good place to end it here. Next time, we'll pick up from where I died. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate a like. And I'll see you next time for more Oblivion. God damn it, maid.